Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons on the Mass, premium edition with Father Rocky in the Chapel of Nativity at Relevant Radio. We're going through the Mass step by step. So on holidays, Sundays, and special feast days, the church uh, sings the Gloria. And the Gloria was first sung by a choir of angels over the field of the shepherds the night our Savior was born. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Now, I don't know what language the angels sang in the night they sang at Bethlehem, but it was a glorious, glorious hymn. And you've probably heard the French Christmas hymn, um, angels we have heard on high and that great refrain that everybody likes to sing it always brings a smile to your face Gloria in excelsis Deo Gloria in excelsis Deo in the famous choirs they sing in four part harmony and when Neil Robbins their sound producer gets a hold of it he fades in Pavarotti's voice over mine and it sounds like that's me but that's not me all right that's it do you know at wedding masses at the very beginning of the mass there's not a penitential rite i don't know why but i think it's because marriage is a whole life of penance <laughs> maybe that's it but you begin the mass with the gloria and I like to say to the people, now stand on this glorious occasion as we sing the song the angels sang the night our Savior was born. Now let me tell you about something. There was a terrible, terrible war over 100 years ago. It was World War I. Terrible, terrible uh, calamity. And it was Christians fighting Christians, Catholics fighting Catholics, the French and the Germans. But on Christmas Eve, 1914, after uh, two months of the war, there was an unofficial truce. And the soldiers came out of their foxholes, and the Germans and the French sang Christmas carols, Silent Night, and also Glory to God and the Highest Angels We Have Heard on High. And it was earlier that year, a month before, that Benedict XV, the Pope, who uh, put the title Our Lady Queen of Peace in the litany, said, may there be peace on earth at least on the night the angels sang. At least on the night the angels sang. This is the song the angels sang. I know the Gloria in various musical um, compositions. I liked the Mass of Creation before uh, they had changed it. It works very well in English. The ones I'm most familiar in Latin Gregorian chant would be the Misa de Angelus, and also the Misa Cum Jubilo. So the Misa de Angelus goes, You can have the choir behind it, the organ behind it, and the bells, and all the rest is very glorious. But the most sublime glory I've ever heard was actually um, from another Gregorian uh, mass called Misa Cum Jubilo. It's so stunning. It's so transportative, if I could use that word, that Mozart said he would gladly give up the rights to all the music he composed if he could take credit for that. And we don't know who composed it. Maybe it was a monk in a monastery in the center of Europe in the Middle Ages, but it's a beautiful thing. And that music should lift up our minds and our hearts at Mass as we, as we give glory to God. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Did you like what you learned today? Well, stay tuned, come back tomorrow, and you'll learn a whole bunch more.